What's up, everybody? This is the one, aka Jodice Dion on YouTube, and I'm bringing you another episode out from the side of my neck. The past two episodes, I covered current news from Sony's PlayStation 3 and Microsoft's 360. But since I'm a Nintendo fanboy at heart, it's time to bring the series back home to Nintendo and its Wii. So, to all my Nintendo fans out there, and to all my Nintendo haters, I present, out from the side of my neck, episode 11, Damage Prevention from Retards. Hope you enjoy it. We Damage Prevention from Retards. Hmm, what's the fuck that's supposed to mean? Well, I'll explain it to you real quick. Late last week, at the GameCon convention in Germany, Sony unveiled their new PS3 Slim. And they also gave a real needed price cut to their current PlayStation 3 model by $100. This makes the current PlayStation 3 model that has a Blu-ray player built into it and superior tech in it compared to the Wii only $50 more than the current Wii that comes with Wii Sports. From this fact alone, game journalists and business analysts start to proclaim that the Nintendo Wii was done. This was it. The beginning and the end. The little white box that could was about to die. So basically, if you have a Nintendo Wii, take it out to the pasture, put it down, the same way they put down O Yeller at the end of that movie. Then, in a move not to be outdone by their HD rivals, Microsoft leaked information that they too plan to price cut their four year old system, the Xbox 360, through various ads from popular retailers, all showing that the Big Daddy Elite was going to come down to be the same price as the new PlayStation Slim. And then their Pro model, the most popular version of their Xbox, was going to be the same price as a Nintendo Wii. So now, with this added move of double jeopardy, businessmen, game journalists, and gaming fanboys are now proclaiming that that's it. The Wii is dead. Nintendo will not sell one damn new system. And if you're a loyal Nintendo fan like myself, or just someone who likes to look up gaming news each day, you can go to a gaming site, a forum, listen to a podcast, or anything without hearing some fucking retard talk about how Nintendo is dead, how it's over for them. So we fans, that's it. Go ahead and sell your weeds, because after everybody starts buying the glorious HD systems, now that Wii's are not selling, the great third parties that are making glorious games for the Wii will stop making those games, because now there's no audience. Everybody's moved on, which in the end will cause Nintendo to drop out of the console race, and probably even bankrupt like Sega did. And so now, Nintendo might end up becoming a third party. But because they're traditional old school Japanese, their honor will be hurt and they will rather commit suicide than become a third party. And finally, after 20 to 30 years of being in the video game market, Nintendo will be gone and dead forever, leaving only the brilliant and dominant Sony PlayStation 3 and the super tech American made excellent Microsoft 360 to rule the video game universe. <laughs> now, do you really think I believe that bullshit I just spouted? No. And that's why I'm saying damage prevention from retards. I'm about to show you how all this stuff that just happened really don't mean a damn thing. It's just more bullshit that the gaming media who hates Nintendo want to make you believe. So, for all you Wii fans who want to prevent being harassed, prevent being damaged by retards. The next time you're on a forum or a video game site and you happen to come across some retards, 
break it down to them like this. Thanks to the unbiased gaming media, we now know there are two types of gamers. The so-called hardcore gamer and the new so-called casual gamer. Well, I'm not going to use those terms because they're bullshit. They're not even being used correctly. There's two types of gamers. Old gamers and new gamers. And because of the two types of gamers, I'm going to show you how Nintendo is still able to compete with them. Even though their systems, which are superior tech-wise, are cheaper, as cheap, or in range to Nintendo's inferior Wii. First, you have the old gamer. The old gamer is someone who's been playing games for a long period of time. Or, let's say, at least two system lifespans. And maybe if they just start playing with this current gen, they still play a lot of games. They go to various websites to get their gaming news, to learn about what's going on in the gaming industry. They can tell you how many systems their their favorite company has sold. They know when the popular and cool games are coming out. So they do their research, okay? That's an old gamer. Next, you have the new gamer. The new gamer is someone who's just started gaming, like, right now. Right now, they're at an EB, they buy them a system, and they're trying to take out the box and figure out how to put it together. Figure out how it works. Okay? They never played a game in their life, never had a desire to play a game. But they saw something on TV, they saw something on Ellen, and they decided, hmm, I want to try that out. Okay? So yeah, they had that one system they've been playing, and they don't play it that much because, you know, other things going on in their lives. But they're playing games slowly but surely. This is the new gamer. So, if they're a new gamer, odds are they own a Nintendo Wii already. They saw it on Oprah, they saw it on Ellen, they read it in some magazine, and they said, hmm, that looks fun, let me buy that, okay? It's more of a trendy thing. Yes, they don't use their system quite often, but they do use it when, let's say, the grandkids come over, or maybe they're having a little house party with their friends and they're drinking. Or maybe it's just family time. That's when they use it. Every now and then. But when they do use it, they're having fun. And you know, these new gamers, they're not going to leave Nintendo. You know why? Because Microsoft and Sony haven't proven to them that their system is as fun as the Nintendo Wii. Also, the fact that they are new gamers, they don't give a fuck about HD graphics and 10.0 sound or whatever the bullshit these systems trying to say they have that Nintendo don't. They don't give a fuck about that. They just know that their little white box is fun as hell. So as long as new people have fun with Nintendo games on the Wii, they'll keep buying the Wii until the other guys prove to them that they are just as fun. And that won't happen at least for another year until their motion control controllers are released. So now with the old gamer, if all the bullshit I read on forums and sites every day is true, then the old gamer has left Nintendo a long time ago. So Nintendo, all I can say to them is, fuck them, okay? You don't need them anyway. But now this old gamer has a problem. He need to decide where he want to go. Do he want to purchase a new Sony PlayStation 3? Or do he want to buy a Microsoft Xbox 360? They are the same price now, and depending on how hardcore you are as an old gamer will determine what system you plan to buy. Because I believe there are different levels within the old gamer group. There's the hardcore old gamer, and there is the casual old school gamer. If you're a hardcore old gamer, you know that the PS3 has a built-in Blu-ray player. It has a free online network. You know that the 360 has Xbox Live, the best online service in the industry, but then it also has a 54.6 failure rate. So that might cause you to buy a PS3 because it's hands down the superior system. 
But then, if you're a casual old gamer and all you know are games, you might buy a 360 because there's no game more popular on the AC system than Halo 3. So as you can see, there's one system fighting for all the money on the left, and there's two systems fighting for all the money on the right. Who do you think gonna do well? I'm the one. Peace.